All right, so I just got home from work and I've been reading up on what has occurred in Boston. Uh, there was an explosion at the finish line of the Boston Marathon today and two people at least are dead as of right now and they think about 50 people have been injured. There are actually, from what I can see and hear, I'm watching the video, there were two actual explosions that happened within about 15 seconds of each other, about 100 yards apart near the finish line. Uh, the, the pictures I've seen show that the explosions came from within the windows of buildings behind the spectators on the uh, sidewalks. So again, this is a coordinated uh, attack, a terrorist act by person or persons unknown as of right now. And I just want to say how much that my heart goes out to all the injured and, and all the families and to the the surviving family members of those who've died. And um, the, uh, reading up on it, I, I came across some things that I that kind of scare me about who might have done this. So uh, one of the things is is that the uh, in Boston today, it's Patriot Day, which signifies the, the Revolutionary War. It's also April 15th which is tax day here in the United States. So again, this is the day everyone pays their taxes. So you got the whole Boston Revolution thing and you got tax day going on and it's the Boston Marathon. The explosion that I saw close to the finish line took place behind where all the flags were of all the international flags. I uh, don't know if that has anything to do with the placement or not. Uh, or maybe it was just opportunity for whoever to get into the buildings. Uh, also, uh, the last mile of the marathon, my understanding, was dedicated to the victims of Sandy Hook. So again, I am afraid that, or I'm disgusted and afraid, or however you want to put it, that this may have been a domestic terrorist attack and not a foreign attack, and that whoever did this, uh, you know, may still be at large. He also, or she, whoever it is, uh, also, a, a bomb went off at the JFK Library an hour later, so uh, the police also claim they found two more explosives that did not detonate near the finish line. So we're talking about minimum of five bombs, two that went off within 15 seconds of each other and one an hour later. So, uh, again, to all of the people who watch my channel out there um, and, and all the people who are, are, are pro firearms, let me just say that if this was a pro firearms person, this is not the way. This is not how you motivate people to our side of things. Uh, this is, you know, no means is it anywhere near the time that we should take up arms, fight, or do anything, and especially not against innocent people just watching uh, people running. I mean, it's just, it disgusts me that somebody would do such a horrible and cowardly act, and if it was to prove a political point, it will totally be lost and work against us. So uh, again, if anyone is sitting around looking at the way our government's running, looking at this current uh, battle that's going on between anti-gun and pro-gun, resorting to these type of tactics and doing these sort of things is just horrible and disgusting. Don't even think about it. Uh, it, it you know, for the pro-gun side, we are in the right on this. And by doing acts like this, it puts us in the wrong and will work against us. So again, uh, my condolences to those uh, surviving family members and my heart goes out to all the people who were injured. Thank you. Meep, meep.